Hi guys, Zone Dave's here from goalshape.com. I'm joined by Stuart from Bigger and Chris from the Belfry. Um, I've just played a shot out of the bunker here at the 18th at the Brabazon and we're going to talk about how to correctly rate bunkers. Okay Stuart, so uh, like I said I've just played this shot out of the bunker at the 18th at the Brabazon. Quite a good one I have to say, <laughs> so quite pleased with that. Um, Firstly, obviously I've approached from this side. What is the best way and, and how should we rate bunkers? Because I think it's, it's a thing that uh, golfers quite often get wrong. So mm -hmm. I think Chris is going to demonstrate in a minute, but if mm -hmm. you could just talk through, uh, first of all, um, how we do it. Well, one of the things a golfer should do when they approach, if they're in the bunker, is prepare themselves. Go and fetch your rake first. Um, and have it ready so you don't have to walk through the bunker to actually go and get your rake. But then when you're in the bunker, what you need to do when you rake is you rake backwards. You, you, you start you start where you, you've, um, you've played your shot from and then you rake backwards to the edge. Maybe Chris, do you want to uh, yeah, show us how, how, how it should be done as you're, as you're talking through, Stuart? Okay. So, so you rake backwards. Okay, so Chris is, is, is taking out the, uh, the footprints, and where the shot area, and he's just smoothing the area over uh, with, the, with the rake. Um, it's, it depend, obviously depending on the sand and the type of bunker, will depend on how you kind of rake it but generally it's just just try and leave it as even as you possibly can yeah. um, when you come out of that bunker and, and i noticed there on the face obviously uh, one thing that i'm always aware of is pulling sand off the face mm. uh, how, how do you deal with that and how should you leave the bunker in, in that scenario there's obviously okay. quite a steep entrance into here sure yeah. you want to try and i say try and leave as much sand coverage in there as possible yeah. um, generally when we rake bunkers particularly as we can see here with the when they're raked for a tournament preparation we smooth rake the, surf, the the edges so the ball will roll down into the bottom yeah. um, but what you want to do is you just literally just really as a, as a golfer you want to kind of leave that surface in, in the best sort of way that you you would expect to find it when you get there yourself yeah exactly and in terms of a bunker obviously we've got quite a few steep sides to this mm -hmm. I mean should you always go in at the most shallow entrance is, is that important it does it will help you when you walk in it will save save you pushing sand off the face of the bunker yeah. um, it's something that we really you know you need to when you approach that bunker as I said before when you prepare when you're going to walk into it and where you're going to exit an entrance from it so. yeah and we just saw Chris there demonstrating how he would prepare a bunker mm -hmm. uh, for tournament use I mean, you use the back of the rake. Is that mm. something you encourage the average golf, golfer to do, or is that something it, not to worry about? It doesn't really matter, but what it does help is if you've got an, a particularly heavy area where you've sort of moved a lot of sand around, it can help smooth out that surface for you before you use the actual teeth on it. Right. Okay, there you go, uh, go guys. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you, Chris, uh, Thank you. for demonstrating that. Uh, a little bit of info on exactly how you should rake a bunker. Obviously, it's something we do all the time, but um, just making sure that's evenly and pulling the rake back towards you uh, seems to be the way you should do it.